everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and today we're having a look at a little application called Remote Notifier. It's a app that you install on your Android phone, and there is also a server component that gets installed on your computer. Uh, Mac users have to use Growl, it's another application. Windows and Linux users, the developer has built a small Java standalone server that runs on your machine. I'm doing it on Windows 7 because that's what most of y'all are going to be familiar with. So that's what we're going to have a look at. You can see right down here in the corner where my mouse cursor is, Android Notifier is currently running in my system tray, and it'll give me notifications of different things that go on with my Android device. Uh, for example, your battery status. Let's plug in my Evo and see what Android Remote Notifier tells me. And it tells me that my battery is now charging, the remaining charge at 79%. Okay, thank you very much. Close that. And now to unplug it and see what it says. It tells me the battery is not charging and it's at 79%. And you can shut off, you know, different notifications and only enable the ones that you want. Uh, the really great part of the app, especially if you spend a lot of time in front of your computer, you don't always feel like grabbing your phone every time it beeps. It tells you about messages and calls you might get. Uh, let me grab another phone here. And we'll go ahead and send a text message to my Evo and see what happens. Bear with it a second, give it a minute to come through. And there it is, SMS received from, and that number, that's a, uh, you know, a, a demo phone I'm, I'm trying out, we're going to review. You can, you know, call if you want, I'm not going to answer that, I'm, you know, not even going to worry about blurring it out but don't waste your time, but it tells me it was received from, and it gives that number, and then it tells me what the message was, and I just put testing Android remote notifier. So that worked really well. Let's close that off and see how it handles calls. Open up the call log here on the charm I've been testing. And we'll make a call and see what happens. Give it a second to connect. And there it is, you can hear my stupid ringtone. Go ahead and end the call here. Shut that off, and it tells me I've got a phone call, and it gives me the number it came from. And once again, that number, you know, it's active. Nobody's gonna answer, so I wouldn't even waste your time trying it. Uh, but hey, the application works pretty well. I do spend a lot of my day in front of the computer and with a bunch of phones sitting here, and. Lord only knows they all make different sounds and you know I've got Google Voice running and whatnot. It's great to get the notifications through through my desktop. Uh, if you use the standard voicemail application that comes from your carrier, it also will give you voicemail missed call notifications. I use Google Voice, so unfortunately I can't demo that. Uh, I'm just not I'm not gonna break down Google Voice for all these phones just so we can do that and try to get the carrier voicemail reinstalled but you get the picture it works really well uh we'll have download links show you how you can get a hold of it you know if you spend a lot of time at the computer it's something you probably want to check out i'll talk to you all later you have a good one